And then many different things happen. Of course, if you're meant to be used as a healer, you're a healer, you're channeling, you're doing telepathic communication, whatever is your knack in that relaxed space. Since the portal opens up, there is, you're allowing existence to travel through you because the gate has opened up. It's a much bigger portal of energy tra traveling through you than being so narrow-minded and stuck in one way. Then you start to experience vastness. And vastness is equal to bliss. Bliss appears in your life. But it's not a spiky bliss. It's not like you really get high and you fall down, which a lot of us know that, you know, getting really happy or being really high, or you went and did a workshop for five days four days and you're really high and then you crash. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a constant dosage of feeling really good. And there's bliss in it. Is that right, Miss Candace? Hi, Candace. Yes, yes, hi. Yes, hi. you're very right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy for you to come to this discovery. And I really appreciate your feedback. <laughs> you helped a lot. <laughs> well, thank you. You were ready for it. We did the live training program together and, and uh, we talked about a few things. I uh, shared May I, may I say a couple of things? Is that okay, Candace? Of course, yeah. yes. I, yeah, a few things we talked about of discovering this space of constant feeling of bliss, but it's subtle. And whenever you're not really busy with your mind or you're not really in, engaged with a story, as soon as you disconnect from it, you start feeling this bliss. And, you know, a lot of times you just start laughing. You don't know, or you may cry and you may just go, oh my God, I love life. Because in that understanding, which my sister Candace came to this understanding, is like all of a sudden this love, this bliss, constant bliss has appeared. Am I right, Candace? Maybe you share with us. Well, what's going on? It's mostly always there. You know, once in a while something comes up that brings me down a little, but when, once that's done, I'm, you know, I'm back again. Right. There are moments like you're getting engaged with something. Maybe someone did something and you got angry, like they installed a refrigerator in your house and they did it completely wrong. And now you're upset with them in that moment. But then when you pull back, you go back into this steady state. Is that right? Yeah, yes, yes. And I'm learning more and more what you're talking about today. I call it trusting, you know, trusting the yeah. script as you, as you uh, talk about the script. Yes, it's trusting. Trusting. Another word for it. I even noticed recently I got upset with a friend who wanted to cancel what we had planned and I was upset about it. And then I thought, wait a minute, it's the script. You scripted wow. that, not my friend. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And then you just could you easily let it go. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And it's like, this is something you, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. It's something like you may tell yourself, my God, I could have always done this in my life. What, what was I thinking? How come I didn't know to be this way? When you get it, 
Then you're saying, oh my God, this was so simple. I, all these years I struggled and suffered because I'm fighting life. I want to make, I want to make life happen the way I want it rather than just relaxing into what is. And then all of a sudden life is giving me everything. It's, I don't know, it's so simple, but yes, of course, I've been on that side of being a spiritual seeker most of my life and seeking. On the other hand, I, I can see it's like hiking Mount Everest, but then on this side it says, oh my God, this was like, this way is so easy to be, so natural, because you're not really trying. Everything comes. And yeah, there is the appearance of effort. There are times like you're putting effort in things. There's the appearance of it. But basically it comes to you. Yeah. Hi. Uh, hi, Mary. Hello. Hello. You're just going to have to talk a little bit louder so we okay. can get it. Up. Thank you. Okay. Thank is that better? Yeah, that's that's good, Mary. Okay. Thank you. You know, I just wanted to, to thank you and validate uh, what you're saying because I, I've, I've switched up from wanting to be one of those manifestors. And I've switched up right. in the last like year or so and into just letting life occur. And, and like what you said about having space, I notice like even physically, I feel like I have more space between my heart and my head. Like I feel free in this area of my body. And it's, I have a very big thing to do, a very complicated difficult thing to do because my son and I, my Down syndrome son and I are going to move to Oregon from California. Okay. okay. And there's a lot of details for me and I don't really have any help with it. And it's scary. And I'm thinking now how I would have been dealing with this and handling this several years ago. It would have just been this endless beehive in my head, just, blah, 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 just this endless beehive. And now I'm doing it differently and, and, and I've been listening to your teachings and listening to you and I found that, that space and that nourishing silence and the man I thought was going to fix up my house, nope, I let that go. It's a different guy. It's a different couple of guys and it's going to work out much better. The things that I thought were going to go down, I let it go and now better things are happening. I found out my daughter wants to come with me now which is like, yes, yes. So I've been experimenting with that exact thing that you're talking about today. Just letting life happen and trusting and being happy and knowing that I, I'm not the driver. The grand poobah, her majesty is the driver and I'm happier now. And I feel like this amazingly scary uh, unknown, all these many unknowns, are not so scary to me now. I feel yeah. like it's going to be cool. It's going to happen. And I do have to do a lot of stuff. And I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know when my house is going to sell. But it's working better now. It's better now for me. And the beehive has really calmed down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I really, first of all, congratulations. Because... <laughs> That's a very good place to arrive to on your spiritual path. You're, you're, you're very close. It's this, been very, I feel happier. Yes. Yeah. You're in your natural state. Mm -hmm. And there's no, and I didn't get in. I didn't get anything from manifesting the law of attraction thing that, that I got nothing out of that. Zip. It, it just activates your mind more. It fortifies that part of the brain to keep thinking, thinking, thinking all the time. 